Power Rangers has been getting crazy with Cosmic Fury. Today we are going to be talking about episode 8 of Power Rangers Cosmic Fury switching sides. Let's get into it. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! What's up, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode review. Today we're talking about episode eight, changing sides of Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. First off, we will read the synopsis, then we will get into the official fan club review. Two ex-villains should be the last people to cure Ollie, but Ion has a plan that just might work. Meanwhile, Zato's secret becomes harder to hide. Let's get into switching sides or changing sides. Starts on Eltar. Bajillionaire realizes Sequilla is gone. Zed wants to use the Morphin Master's power to become stronger. The Rangers have been liberating the planet. They think that if they break Ali's Dino Henge statue, they will break the spell. We see Mucus and Slither in human form, and Ion calls them out and questions them. They now live peacefully by running a circus. Ion wants them to work for the Rangers. The Rangers do accept the ex-villains after they mind-scan them. Bajillionaire is heading towards Pine Ridge to find her daughter. Zato uses his powers to make Solon a mushroom again, and Ion can't believe Zato is using his powers. Zato passed out again, and the others still don't know what's going on with him. The girls have a Megazord battle. I thought it was cool. It was like a girl power Megazord battle. Then Ion and Javi take on Bajillionaire and her monsters. Tarek, Slither, and Mucus help out. Bajillia breaks out Sequila as the boys were gonna be defeated. The girls show up and destroy Bajillia and Sequilia Nair. Slither disguises himself as Sequilia and Mucus comes too. They make their way onto the villain base. Zato tells the Rangers the truth, how he only has so much magic until he returns to the grid. Slither sends the rangers the location to Eltar. Slither and Mucus find the statue and blow it up. Ali is still evil though, question mark. Let's talk about it in the next episode. Master plan, check out the review for that. I gotta shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this channel, man. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can continue to make videos like this one. So thank you guys so much and we will see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Dig Wyron, Tim Rage, Roderick Hare, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Oger, Roderick Ham, Jason Morazis, Willie Maloney, Louis Cairns, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Skurd, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, Savage Sal, Tim Brown, Sean Schiffer, The Cosmic Nerd 24, Bruce Walters, and Austin White. Thank you guys so much for your support, and if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. Go. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the fan, fan club to say something funny. <laughs>